Now, President John Arta Mills was affectionately referred to by some Ghanaians as Anko Arta. The late president had pledged in his inaugural address to be a father to all. For more insight into his legacy, I am joined by Ni Akwite, an independent analyst on African and international affairs and a native of Ghana. Mr. Akwite, welcome to In Focus. Thank you. Now, as we did actually mention there, some in Ghana have, have, have been saying, uh, calling him Anko Atta, which uh, implies that uh, he had uh, quite, they had a soft spot for this president. I think, I think they did uh, for a number of reasons. One of them, of course, was because of the party he belonged to, which was, which was is one of the two big parties. But he's been a steady figure in Ghanaian politics for quite a while. It is true that this was his first term, but he had been vice president to President Rawlings for um, uh, quite a while. And then when President Rawlings left office, uh, Professor Mills um, um, ran for office. He won in 2008, uh, December 2008. That was actually his third run. So he's been in politics, but also the way he carried himself earned him that uh, affectionate term. Okay. Now, when it comes to the, the real achievements on the ground, uh, how will President Atta Mills be remembered? What, what are some of the things he managed to achieve within that short period? I think three things strike me. One is just the way he carried himself. He was soft-spoken, he was steady, he was thoughtful. I've heard other African leaders re refer to him as wise, you know, which was a contrast with previous politicians. And so I think that brought a set of uh, thoughtfulness and quiet to Ghanaian politics, which Ghanaian uh, politics needed. So I give him credit for that. The other one is he established good relations internationally. You know, the visit of President Obama is, is everybody knows that, but he also also had good relations with the Chinese. He just signed a big investment agreement with them. And um, um, he also, um, you know, uh, did a, a couple of other things. Um, a third thing that I give him, I give him credit for is economic growth. Um, Ghana just had double digit economic growth. Now, of course, part of that was the discovery of oil. But he put in place things to make sure that the oil revenues are well dealt with. Of and course, his political enemies had criticisms of him too. So we have to look at both and, sides. And actually, people are, you know, the elections were coming up not yes. too long from now. Yes. And so there, there was to be an assessment of his achievement, especially in creating harmony within the country that yes. is strengthening the democratic institutions yes. along with the economic development. Precisely. How would you rate that? Was it something that actually was even going to carry him through this election if he, he leaves? I think that's a tough one as to whether he would have won re-election. Because in the lead up, even though people say he was poised to run, in my view, actually, he's been running. He won the primaries in his party last year. And the opposition party has been campaigning. So the campaign has been going on. And it's been very tough and very close. Um, there, there were people who think that the other party will win. So it's been a very close uh, uh, fought election. Yes. Ha, ha, would you say this is a game changer as far as the next elections are concerned? Absolutely. I really do think it's a game changer because, in fact, um, the ruling party actually has to anoint uh, President Mahama now as their, their candidate, it has to be formalized. Uh, I think it, that will happen, but it hasn't been formalized yet. He could be challenged, uh, at least on paper, but I don't think he will. And then, of course, it's going to change because uh, President Mahama is much younger. He's from a different region of the country. He has a different personality. So I do think that the death of President Mills is a game changer. But. Um, it happened only a day ago, so we'll have to see what transpires between now and, and December. We have five months to go. And we'll call you back here to give us uh, uh, further analysis and insights into the Ghanaian politics. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Akwete, uh, we do appreciate your perspective. Uh, Ani Akwete is an independent analyst on African inter and international uh, affairs and is also a native of Ghana. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's my pleasure.